Ah, uh, that was a lovely cup of coffee. That was a beautiful cup of coffee. Good morning, everybody. It's about 6 a.m. It's about 6 a.m. We are in the... Oops. <laughs> Just checking for spiders. Uh, we are in the uh, first, day of, uh, first day of April today. It's looking beautiful out here as it always is. As it always is. So we're, uh, we're relatively busy. It's probably been about a month, month since I've seen you guys. <gasps> and I have to tell you... Staycorp purchased the uh, um, purchased the uh, farm over in Recanto, um, the the plantation. So we will be doing coffee, which is absolutely awesome. Now um, they did a deal. I think they paid about. I think they paid about six point five million or something for it. I think, um, and uh, they've they've uh, increased our budget by three quarters of a million because there are some stuff, there is some stuff out there that we need to, uh, that we definitely need to uh, sort out and, and purchase to, to get that running. So we're going to have to get over there at some point and uh, <clears throat> and check out the the actually have a really good uh, look at the condition of the um, uh, the crops out there and uh, and seeing sort of what needs to be done. Our crops are all growing really, really, really well, which is uh, which is absolutely awesome. Um, we are ready to throw some corn in the ground. Um, I also I also had a conversation with um, uh, with Jackto over there as well, uh, and they I don't know whether you noticed back there they've sent a couple of uh, sprayers through for us to uh, to run, which is absolutely awesome. Um, we are testing those out. It's a little bit misty this morning, isn't it? We're going to test those out, which is going to be absolutely awesome. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work. We have been doing a lot of work. But what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to uh, I'm going to set this up and get this all uh, ready to ready to roll. Um, I'm going to get somebody to seed the corn in this and the corn in the other field over there, which is good because we've got a lot of other stuff to do as well which is really cool and I've got a lot of stuff to show you as well I've got a lot of stuff to show you we've been really really busy out there but uh, I will show you guys that um, after I've set these these guys up ready to go all right beautiful lovely uh, we are going to uh, take a walk over and we've got a load of logs over here that have been picked up from uh, from the runway side um, so we're gonna take those over and dump those now we've got the foundations down or uh, well, we've actually leveled out the area where uh, we are putting a. Uh, I, I I don't know whether you rem whether you guys remember. I need to take my time with this because it's quite overloaded. Um, I don't know whether you guys actually remember, but um, remember me mentioning that uh, we were going to look at uh, at the possibility of um, of building ourselves a little electricity generator um, that we can utilise our wood chips with. Um, and uh, so we've got the approval to do that now. Uh, we are going to be selling electricity to the community at a uh, at a relatively reasonable rate, which is really really good. Um, probably also going to do some work on getting some electricity out of, out to some of the smaller settlements around the area as well, um, which is going to be at our expense. But I think it's going to be a really good thing because. Uh, because basically what we're doing is uh, we, we, we're basically generating customers to do that. So, and there we go. You've got to be really, really careful coming up here in this truck, guys. There we go. Just nice and easy. So that's that's really, really good. Um, the the beauty there is that. Um, there we go. Um, the beauty there is that uh, that we sort of. We, we guarantee ourselves um, a, a definitely a, a, a good amount of uh, a good amount of income by selling electricity off to the uh, off to the community, even though it's going to be at a uh, at a very very reduced rate. So uh, pretty happy about that. I think I might uh, I think I might just uh, leave that trailer there. I think, and uh, we'll head over here. Now, uh, oh, crunchy, 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 crunch. Uh, as you can see over here, the pad is down and the pad is ready to uh, ready to go for the uh, for the builder the the building um, crew to come in and uh, and whack it up. There's not much there's not much involved in the construction itself. Um, it's more so it's just sort of like a 
a, a steel frame tin shed, but um, uh, but it's the electrical work that needs to be done and the equipment that needs to go into it um, is going to be the big thing. That's going to cost us probably about 160 grand to build, but again, a very very valid investment uh, indeed. All right, we've been carving a lot of stones from over in the uh, from over in the um, uh, the construction area for the resort as well. Uh, we've got a full amount of lime and we've got a full amount of stone sitting in here. Uh, we're going to need to dump this trailer, uh, which we which we shall do now. I think. Let's uh, while we've got the truck here, we may as well just dump it now. Um, get that out of the way. So that is a couple of little jobs done. Uh, we're going to need to keep going back and checking on how uh, how the guys are doing seeding the uh, seeding the corn as well, which is really cool. Uh, we also need to uh, let's just get that back in there. There we go. That should be about right there. Uh, we also need to um, uh, purchase ourselves. Uh, purchase ourselves. Uh, we also need to load up some furniture and go and sell some furniture, which is really, really good. The, uh, the carpenters, they're, they're absolutely fantastic. I'm thinking of getting them to, um, I'm actually thinking of getting them to, uh, to load up a, uh, to, to knock up a, a shed out of some of the wood that we, some of the wood that we, uh, that we actually pull off of the land as well. So, uh, yeah, go back, go back, go back. Back you go, back you go, back you go. Probably ran out there a little bit, I think, a little bit too much, but there's a lot of stuff in there, so we can easily... Uh, I might actually run it out. I think I'll run it out. Uh, yeah, I might run it out this way, I reckon. Just get all of it out, get all of it dumped, and uh, we can sort it out with the loader at some point, which is pretty cool. All right, beautiful. What I'm going to do, I think I might actually leave this, uh, I think I might actually leave this trailer here, I reckon. Uh, that was a really, really good purchase. Uh, as you could also see, we've purchased ourselves a planter as well. Um, so that was a, an absolute necessity for putting our corn and stuff in. Um, I did speak to Jacko, as I said, and they have uh, sent a couple of uh, uh, sprayers through for us to, to have a squeeze at. They were also kind enough to send through a, uh, a couple of uh, containers of fertiliser to go with their sprayers as well, which is absolutely brilliant. So uh, we're quite lucky there. So we get to test those out. Um, the other thing is that, uh, that they're willing to give us a test out of, um, uh, of a, um, a sugarcane harvester if we were to go in that direction. Uh, so I think it won't be this season that we'll go in the sugarcane direction, but it'll probably be next season, I think. We'll probably utilise one of our fields. We're going to have a lot more fields there um, that, that have been done. The other thing that we have been doing as well, uh, you can see the uh, sprayers here, I'll show you. The other thing that we have been doing is we've been uh, carting water. We've been carting water uh, for the lakes area, which has been finished. We've finished digging out the lakes area over in the uh, in the resort. Not a lot has happened in regards to construction. We're still waiting on materials. Um, with the whole coronavirus thing, then uh, then materials have been really really hard to uh, come by. So the sawmill is working its little buttocks off trying to uh, trying to. Uh, organise some uh, building materials and some timber and stuff, and so is the local co-op, which has been really good. Which is uh, the local co-op runs the local store as well. Uh, so they've bought, so they've sent through the Condor 800 and uh, and the BC 610 PEC for us to test out. So we're going to go a test on those. We're probably going to use this one on the smaller fields here. I think would be the uh, would be the better bet. So that should be pretty cool. Uh, we do need to at some point sell some uh, sell off some of that lime, but what we need to do is we need to go and roll the runway. Um, all of the grass has been planted in there. It was pl all planted last month, um, so we need to. Uh, yeah, we definitely need to. Uh, let's fire that up. We definitely need to get that moving as well. Let's just throw those up like that. That should be all right. Uh, I might. Uh, I might actually just dump this. Wait. Uh, 
Where are we going to dump it over near the workshop is the better place to do it, where we have all of our other implements as well. Uh, we may actually, yeah, that's what we might do. I think we might, uh, there we go. Get you off. We might take the uh, we might take the stone bucket over there just in case we have any uh, excess stones or anything after we do the rolling. So that's probably a really good idea. So let's grab that and uh, let's bring this weight and we'll pop it in there. I, I leveled out that area. I leveled out this area here as well because we need somewhere to uh, we need somewhere to put our um, uh, our planter. And at some point in time, we're either going to look at a bigger shed or we're going to look at uh, the possibility of, um, of doing a... Uh, oh, crap. Don't do that. Uh, the possibility of doing a little lean-to, a little timber lean-to or something there just to keep them out of the weather because at the moment the seed is sitting in the weather and... Uh, and the plant is going to the plant is going to be sitting in the in the weather as well. We're going to need a, a wide doored shed for that. So there we go. That should be okay. Let's connect that up. Beautiful. And uh, we will head out with this. There we go. Lovely. And we'll get out and uh, we'll we'll roll this we'll roll this runway. But I want to I want to show you with with. Uh, uh, we've been doing a lot of landscaping and uh, and a lot of work around um, around the airport, and the airport is actually ready to go. We've got we've had a uh, another um, farmer from the area has uh, well he's not a farmer he's he's actually um, he actually contracts himself out doing crop spraying, uh, and he's parked his Alouette here, which is a uh, which is a really nice helicopter. I was I was having a look at it the other day. So at the moment we're getting, um, at the moment we're getting, uh, it's going really well, isn't it? Um, we're getting uh, a little, we're getting some rent for, for the storage of that, which is kind of covering our own use of the, uh, of the other helicopter as well, which is really, really cool. But we're also getting, uh, you can see here, um, we've, we've done a lot of fence work and stuff through here, which is really, really good. Uh, that is a requirement by law with the FAA to, to uh, have all this stuff fenced off. Um, <clears throat> we had some electrical lines run out here, which is really good. Uh, and uh, we've been doing some uh, landscaping, some mature tree planting. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the electricians have done the lighting for the end of the runway there, which, which again is really good. We might come over and have a look at that a little bit later on. Um, and let me just uh, let me just show you what's been going on over here. We've done a lot of concreting over here down to the runway, which again is another really really good thing. Um, uh, so so that runs through here, just a bit of concreting. I know that we've got a grass runway, but we're going to keep that nice and flat, which is going to be beautiful. Uh, and this gives something a little bit more stable for when we're loading and unloading aircraft. Uh, the fuel tanks arrived. There was uh, uh, two fuel tanks for here. Um, and there was also a fuel tank for over in the farm as well, over at the farm area, which arrived as well, which is really, really cool. Local transport company are keeping their truck sitting here. And it looks like uh, all of our stationery and everything is, is being uh, unloaded at the moment, which is really, really cool. Uh, we have put, uh, I've put the, for now, until we build a shed for our forestry equipment, I've parked this fella in here um and until we uh until we start sort of populating this shed so that sort of keeps that going um we've got uh we've got the admin building has been sorted out we've got the brazilian and the australian flags up there uh which is absolutely awesome uh done a little little picnic area here as well a uh, little lunch sort of area for anybody who wants to sit out here maybe have a smoke and uh and something to nibble on while they're waiting for their aircraft uh, to fuel up and refuel again. Uh, we've put in some lighting through here as well, as you can see, which is pretty important, as well as some uh, as well as some stand lighting around uh, where we want the helicopters to park. Uh, fuel over there for uh, for helicopters, uh, and the fuel back there for uh, for aircraft. So, uh, and this is the other helicopter that's been uh, that is this, this little alouette. 
um, that has been uh, put in here for uh, as uh, it's, it's sort of uh, uh, paying a um, uh, paying sort of a, a lease rate to store the helicopter here now that we've got the airport running, which is really really good for us as well because again it's another income that we can uh, that we can rely on as well. And as you can see there, um, some some more landscaping with some more uh, mature trees that are going to grow quite large, uh, just to sort of you know block some areas off and stuff, and just sort of you know keep that little bit a little bit of stuff happening, um, that little bit of sort of visual pleasure around the place, basically. Um, so that is really, really, really good. I'm really happy with uh, what's happened there, and that's um, that's giving us uh, that's actually giving us a bit of income as well. So uh, pretty happy about that as well. Um, all right. So what we need to do is we're going to have to roll this runway. And we're going to have to keep this runway pretty good. Um, thankfully, thankfully we will. Um, Thankfully, we're going to uh, we'll, we'll know when aircraft are actually coming in, as well, which is uh, which is pretty good for us. So, um, by doing by knowing when the aircraft is, is coming are uh, coming in, then we can actually come down here and prep this area and prep the runway. Uh, just check it for anything. You know, there could be a dead animal on here. There could be, uh, you know, a tree falling over. Anything like that. So, just got to watch those uh, runway end lighting there. Lovely. I think that's okay. Let's just drop you down. Come on. Down we go. Down we go. There we go. Thank you very much. All right. So yeah, there could be anything, uh, and uh, and and again, part of running an airport is uh, is ensuring the uh, the safety of the planes and the clearing of the uh, of the runway. We've got trees straight ahead that we need to remove, um, which is going to be which is going to be quite a big job. I love I love this song on the radio. This is absolutely brilliant. Love it. Um, so that's going to be a, that's going to be another thing that uh, that we are going to have to get done pretty soon because we are going to start uh, as soon as that uh, runway as soon as that uh, resort is done um, then uh, which I think the camping site's going to actually be done first so so we're going to have to keep our eye on that um, and as soon as that is done uh, then we will probably start receiving aircraft in here so uh, that's well worth noting anyway what we might do is uh, I might uh, actually get the drone up and um, once I've got the drone up and in position, then uh, I might uh, follow myself doing this and I will see you guys when that has been done. Let's make a cake. Yeah, let's make a cake. Let's tie our hands down to the tracks. Let's make the world look flat. Let's cut the time before they ever learn to say. Let's burn the homes to warm our hands Plant our flags on foreign lands Let's leave the fingers And take the ring Let's make a cake Okay, beautiful. That is nearly done. That is nearly done. Nice, easy job. It's actually looking really good. I think uh, I think it's going to work out really, really well. Actually, to be honest, let's uh, get that raised up. Get you out here. There we go. Oh, she loves to turn around. She definitely loves to turn around. I do like these rollers a lot, actually. I like them very much. Okay, let's uh, just roll through the end of this. Now, the very ends of the runway aren't uh, aren't really of, of too much concern. It's the it's the bulk of the centre of the runway that's uh, that we need to keep our eye on. 
Okay, there we go. Lovely. And uh, we might just see if we can grab you. There we go. Just run through there a little bit again. And probably just down this end. All right, beautiful. That is good. That is good. There's just this little section here, so... Uh, it's, it's, it's a good surface. I've done a lot of rolling on here and a lot of compacting and stuff. Um, as per we needed to anyway, to make sure that it is an appropriate uh, spot for an aircraft to land on. So we're just going to wait for our rating on, uh, on what can and can't land here. I'm hoping for, uh, for perhaps some... Um, uh, not only sort of uh, some twin engine stuff like Baron aircraft and, uh, and, and other light aircraft... But uh, I'm sort of hoping maybe we might get some short takeoff landing aircraft allowed to come in here, such as, you know, maybe a Twin Otter or uh, an Islander or something like that. So that should be really, really cool. I'm, uh, I'm very excited about getting our first aircraft in here, but... All right. Job nearly done. Okay, so I just received a phone call from uh, Field 5 and they need some more seed out there, so we're going to have to run some seed out to them. Um, it's, it's a lovely planter that we've got there. It was a Lemkin brand, um, brand planter, uh, which is absolutely awesome. However, unfortunately, unfortunately, they're not that, uh, they're not that wonderful in regards to, uh, in regards to the capacity that the tank takes they do fertilize as they uh as they work actually i might put this uh i might actually throw this in here i think we're gonna need somewhere for all of our implements as well i think we might bring some shelving in at some point in time perfect okay let's get uh actually let's grab ourselves uh we're gonna need the forks which are here and we'll run some uh, we'll run some seed out to those guys. All right, let's see what we can get in here. Hopefully, hopefully enough. Hopefully, we can uh, get that up there. It is uh, it is a it is a very very uh, tough spot to get. We probably really need to get the tally handler out here. I think. I don't think we're going to uh, successfully do it like this. We may have to load it by hand. I think we might be all right. All right, perfect. Lovely, lovely, lovely. What we're going to do is probably leave this out here, I think. I think we will uh, leave the tractor and, uh, yeah, we'll leave this little fella out here and we'll leave the uh, seed out here as well because we're definitely going to need to uh, to refill. Unfortunately, that cedar only takes, um, that cedar only takes like 600 uh, 600 litres, so. But that's okay. All right, beautiful. Looks like it's uh, going in the ground quite well. I'm pretty happy with the way it's going in the ground, so that should be all right. We're probably going to have to get out of here and roll at some point, which is going to be a big, 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 big job. So, beautiful. All right, lovely. We've got uh, a pile of furniture, or not a pile, but uh, we've got a few pallets of furniture that we need to load up, and we need to head off and sell it, which, uh, again, I'm pretty excited about that. So uh, where are we going to go? I think we might park right here. Yeah, the carpenters are doing some a magnificent job of uh, of the furniture. It's it's um, I, I can't I can't express how how wonderful how wonderful a job that they are doing of it it's just uh it's all looking very very good so uh pretty happy about that pretty happy about that indeed so we should get uh we should start seeing some uh some profit coming through now from our lime production um uh, from our our furniture production uh some profit coming through from uh from our airport leasing oh, come on come on are you on or what there we go uh from our airport leasing and all that stuff as well so that's going to be really really good to uh to start seeing ourselves generate some income plus we have uh plus we have our crops coming through okay up you go up you go i have ordered a uh, an electric charging station 
uh, for uh, for our forklift as well. I ordered that uh, when I purchased the forklift itself, so hopefully that's going to come through very very soon as well, so that we've got our uh, so we've got a charging station up and ready to go for this. Um, I've spoken to the electricians; they're uh, they're already pre-doing the whoa, 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 no 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 no. They're already pre-doing the wiring and everything, and they're probably going to run it off the uh, off the uh, back of the um, of the workshop here, of the uh, carpentry workshop. So that should be pretty cool. Um, definitely one of those things when you uh, purchase electric vehicles and stuff that you uh, that you don't really consider. Okay, you're going on there as well. So I'm looking forward though to uh, getting these sold. That should be good. There we go, beautiful. Get them, getting them all loaded up, getting them sold, and uh, and uh, making ourselves a little bit of profit, which is going to be awesome. Okay, where are we? Got to make sure that we're definitely low enough for that. There we go, perfect. All right, we'll throw this one on uh, as well. I think we're going to have what two, four, five, six, maybe six pallets of uh, of furniture. Uh, which is really good because we're selling them for probably around the two and a half, three grand mark. So let's just uh, push him on a little bit further. There we go, lovely, beautiful. Um, so that should be uh, that should be some really good profit in our uh, in our little kitty as well. Quite happy about that. Uh, there we go. I think uh, it was a, a valid investment when you consider the cost of the workshop and the cost of the. Uh, of employing the local carpenters and stuff like that, then uh, then it's definitely a profitable uh, it's it's definitely a profitable venture to take to take on as a uh, as a company. So get you down there, thank you very much, and straight in there, beautiful, perfect. Got one more here, and we've got one over at the workshop to grab as well. So. Uh, there you are. Huh. Now we do have to remember. I think it's. Uh, I think it's going to be in August. Uh, in August, we are going to uh, be planting another row of trees as well, which will uh, be six months from when we've planted our previous trees, and uh, that way they'll be stepped very, very well, so that we'll be able to uh, maintain sort of a constant, uh, a constant tree lopping kind of a, uh, a a rhythm if you will there we go lovely let's just head into here we have to relocate the uh, picnic table and uh, and extend the concrete out here a little bit for um, for the uh, the forklift to get in here to, to move this furniture so uh, a little bit of poor planning on my part but it was nothing that uh, that we couldn't sort of solve and uh and we did it quite easily it was just move the picnic bench um and uh throw a little bit more concrete in so so that worked out really well as well all right down we go there's a little bit of a dip there but uh but that's okay we can deal with that there's our new fuel tank as well i didn't show you guys our new fuel tank for the farm either uh, i do need to order a load of fuel in for that go in you go and down you go perfect we'll uh, park this back up near the uh, near the carpentry store and these guys have got uh, plenty of work and plenty of timber to go on with as well so that's good so our timber is going to be uh, our timber is going to be making us um, it's going to actually be making us quite a bit of money uh, not only generating electricity but uh, by doing the furniture and stuff here as well so there's the uh, there's the fuel tank, which is pretty nice. Uh, so we'll be bringing all of our vehicles over here to uh, to fuel up. Let's get you on. Get you on. Uh, we've got to get you off. All right, beautiful. And uh, bring you around. So there's six uh, six pallets of furniture. Perfect. All right. I might just uh, check my. Um, I might just check my. Uh, check my PDA and uh, check what the local price is. I'm. Uh, I'm hooked up to the uh, local market, 
So I can uh, I can actually see what prices uh, people are, are buying stuff for at the moment. So uh, until we start getting um, until we start getting our uh, our our tourists coming in, and uh, hopefully some of those will be purchasing some some stuff as well. But uh, let's see. Uh, we are looking at the moment probably at uh, at the supermarket. I think. So we're going to head over to the supermarket and uh, and drop it off there. Okay, I thought we might go and have a look at the lakes quickly as well, but uh, I've got, I'm going to have some foundations going down here. We're going to build a nice stone fence here as an entrance to the uh, as an entrance way to the resort, which is going to be fantastic. It's going to look great. I'm just going to cut across the grass here. Here we go, lovely. Okay, we'll jump out. There we go. You can see that uh, we are starting to fill this with water now. We've uh, we've lined it with um, uh, with like a riverbed uh, sort of a mix of stone and uh, riverbed sand and stuff, which is really really good. Uh, and that is um, and that's enough to that should be enough to hold the water in the in the ground. The ground is quite clay anyway. So uh, as you can see, not much movement there. We're waiting on timber which has been a, uh, a really hard thing to get hold of. I think it's been a pretty hard thing to get hold of worldwide, to be honest. So, and if we just duck over here and have a look over here, uh, big, 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 big job doing this one. So you can see that we're starting to fill that up as well. And, uh, and our little creek running through there. So I'm very, very excited about all of that. Uh, looking very forward to this stuff coming in though. The, uh, the timber and stuff so that we can continue on with that building process uh, and it's going to be over this side of the river here uh, just around the corner uh, this side of this little lake between the lake and the river where we're going to actually build our campsite so we've got to come through here and clear out some trees and stuff but that's not a drama I can do that easily enough Okay, lovely. That was beautiful. We got around uh, three and a half grand per pallet for that, so that was uh, that was quite nice. That was very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. A good uh, twenty grand or so. Beautiful. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to leave this vlog here. I uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this vlog. Uh, if you have, definitely uh, stick a like down below because uh, then Stay Corp admin can see uh see what job i'm doing and and hopefully uh maybe even give me a pay rise geez that'd be nice wouldn't it hit like below to give me a pay rise that's it all right guys thank you very much for watching my vlog it's been a very very busy day but uh but uh we have got a lot of work done so i hope you've enjoyed it i will see you next time bye